Hey, welcome back to episode 5 of Let's Play Greedfall. So, just as a disclaimer, my last two videos I had some sound issues with my microphone. And I may go back later and do some commentary on those and try to add them into the videos. But the last two videos didn't, didn't have commentary, sorry about that. I probably had some pretty funny things I said over the course of time and I was trying to point things out thinking that I was recording. But I wasn't. <clears throat> anyway, so where I left off, we're in uh, New Serene, and we have, you know, here's a couple team members. These are all people. We have Vasco. We have the Siora, the new girl that we just got, and then we have the old Kurt here. And you can only, it looks like, pick two of them at any given time. So when you're inside your house, you can you can alter all of them. So it may, it may behoove you to keep equipment on even the ones you're not using currently. Um, but I took a bunch of stuff away from this guy. We should probably hook him up. We'll give him the sailor coat. Actually, no, we don't want to give him the sailor coat. We'll give him this worn guard doublet. And we'll put the these boots on him. And he's got this rusty stiletto. I think he had the it's the black and Correas, I think is what I had on him. Yeah, just trying to make sure that if I swap to him, he has some stuff on him. We'll put this worn leather tricorn on him. <clears throat> okay, so I, excuse me, I'm just clearing my throat here. So uh, I kept Siora, since she's our new character. What the hell? That's like, I'm looking at her through the wall for some reason. Here, come over here. Okay, well, she's got the light in the background. So she is not able to um, wear a hat, and she doesn't have a secondary weapon. She came with this great stone needle weapon, which is a really nice weapon. It's almost better than my own weapon, actually. Um my alchemist rape here yeah I'll have to take it off her to check but let's let's do that actually let's give her this rusty raper just so I can see how so yeah <clears throat> it's it's got a little bit more fury generation it's it's losing the elemental damage and this attack cost furious so I don't know whether it's necessarily better. It does have more physical damage, but I kind of like the idea of the the elemental damage. So we're going to stay with this sword. This is the DLC content sword. We're going to keep this for now, and we're going to give her her weapon back for now. She's a caster, too, so she has, like, some magic, if I'm not mistaken. She has four points spent, so she has two points in, look like, firearms, and she has two points in sword. So she's very similar to me, other than, because I think I'm also config. yeah, these are my attributes. Actually, I thought I was looking at her attributes, I'm looking at my attributes, never mind. And I, put, I have points in intuition, uh, and I have points in lock picking so I have two points of lock picking and one point of intuition right now so I'm very rogue like in my build um, looks like my attack is very very low right now anyway we were looking through the town and we were looting working our way around the map of New Serene so we, we, we started down here and then we went all the way up and around and we hit this cut scene in the center of town here, and that's where we got Serene. She needs to be taken to go see the governor. And looks like I have another side quest here for the coin barracks. But I want to continue to loot all this down this area here, and we'll go to the merchant, and then we'll be ready to do those. Uh, those we'll do the side quests first. And I think this chest was like lock picking level three. It was the first chest I ever saw that was lock picking level three. I cannot open that, surprisingly, because I went with the intuition. So the intuition looks pretty good. What happens is is it's noticeable, even one point, 
it um, increased the number of chests that I randomly ran into, which is part of what it does. And I also get intuition for my hat, so I technically have two intuition right now with my equipment. Okay, we're just going to check down here. Yep, you can see there's some things, things to loot. We want to take everything because I need all the money and resources that I can get at this point in the game. We'll have to check back there in a second. Looks like there's some right here. Dragon Blood Resin. Okay, great. All right, we're going to check this back alleys because we didn't check these yet. Looks like there's just a bunch of workers digging. This is like the poor area of town. Climb up over this wall. It looks like it's nighttime here. Day-night cycles. Hopefully I don't get jumped back there. Use my sword as a torch. That's okay. Good thing there's loot back here. I don't have a torch, but I do have a flaming sword, so that's good. Just keep having to pull it back out because he puts it away if you, don't, if you don't use it. The hell are you looking at, man? There's nothing over there. Okay, so looks like we've we've completed looting the area, and here's the merchant. <coughs> It is an immense honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What might I do? So this is the same guy that we saw back in Old Serene, huh? You can ask him about stuff. Where do your products come from? Most of the products that I sell are made in our beautiful nation. Clothing, boots, hats, all from our own craftsmen. With extraordinary workmanship. Ah, you have certainly noticed the blue in our linings. That is impossible to imitate, and we alone have the secret. Of course, we do ship in some foreign merchandise, most of which comes from Alsard. They are also extremely fond of blue, which makes our trading easier. <laughs> sure, whatever. Let's take a look at your stuff. And... I've noticed since I've come to New Serene, they have significantly better equipment than the starting town did. You can see a lot, well, they have greens, but the grays, you know, we don't even have to get down to them. Before, the best we were seeing was, like, green for the most part. Now, you know, as long as we can keep generating money, we have to find a way to do that. We can essentially switch all of our gear to blue rarity. So I know it goes gray, green, and blue in level thus far. I mean, it's quite obvious. Um, there's some some guns here that are this this gun, this rusty dispersion gun might be a little bit. It's not better than what I have because of the the loss of stun damage. As far as melee weapon, yeah, I mean any of these don't have the. I'm going to lose the elemental damage no matter what I change out to. So. <clears throat> this cutlass is quite impressive. 130, I might actually want to do that. Because it beats out the damage that I would get from the loss of the elemental damage. Unfortunately, I need two agility, which I, I lack. Elegant tricorn. So that's new. We don't want to go with a green, but this is... I lose my intuition, but for combat reasons, it's a... It's a Sorry about that. Welcome. For combat it's reasons, it's pleasure. it's a much better hat. I accidentally clicked out here. Chest pieces, nothing worth getting here. Gloves, uh, some. It's all greens, so I can skip on these boots. Same thing. I have these marquee boots, which they must be. You know, they're like officer boots. Not better than what I have, really. They're about on par with each other. N now. This is different. We have some... Unfortunately, I don't have the one willpower um, necessary to put on a better um, pet.
pendant. So right now the best I'll be able to do is just these these gray pendants. But it looks like these gray pendants are all... Actually, this one is not bad. Because it has HP healing. And my main character right now has no magic. So this is actually a buy. Yeah. Let's get that. Or actually, let's just go buy and equip. Um, yep. Just checking it a second time. <laughs> okay. This looks like a small armor necklace. You get a magic shield armor regeneration. So let's go to our other characters here. Kurt. He most certainly needs a necklace. Um, magic shield armor. Magic stasis. Uh, is there no more? I was hoping there was something with, with regular healing. I guess not. But Siora, she can't, she can't even use a necklace, I don't think, can she? Let's take a look. Oh, she can wear a necklace. And she just has the same little collar. She might actually have the willpower to wear one of these green ones. Let's try that. Siora necklaces. No, she doesn't have the one willpower. But she does have magic, so let's give her something. I like the idea of her. I don't think she has healing, though. Yeah, it, it, instead I hesitate to buy her something that she really can't use. Looking at my character, he's the only one who can wear a cape. Um, I already have a merchant cape. And it looks like it's hard to tell in the dark here. All these capes are pretty much the same. They're just, you know, nothing crazy. Let's sell some things here. What do we got? Weapons. We'll sell one of these rusty stilettos. Actually, we might even sell both of them. Um, let's hold on to this ring of the priest right now. This old blunt foil is really quite useless. Let's get rid of that. Guns, I still have this short musket. I want to hold on to it for now. The requirements for a rifle are very high. You need, like, I think four points in firearms to even be able to use anything that requires a rifle. But I'm just holding on to it for now. Um, we'll hold on to this, this hat just because I'll probably get another character at some point. Um... Chess pieces. Let's get rid of the gray, gray stuff. We'll hold on to the green stuff for now. Uh, gloves. We're fine. Boots. We'll get rid of the gray stuff. I'm, I'm hesitant to get rid of something I may need, and I don't know quite just yet what I'll need. I'll get rid of one of these necklaces since I swapped it out with something else. And that's it. I have 343. I would like to get a better weapon for Kurt because he's still rocking out. A, I, I want to say it's a, a gray, is it gray? Oh, he has a green broadsword, 234, with high stun damage. I wonder if there's a, something blue I can buy for him. Because he seems to be very useful. Let's switch to Kurt. Regulation Saber. Old black and court sword, axes, ancient cavalry saber. I don't see any two-handed weapons in blue here. There are. Ooh, that's a really cool looking warhammer. Claymore of the Prince's Guard. It's too dark for me to really tell whether it's any good or not. He doesn't have the agility to use it anyway. Bring of the Deacon. There you go, Nicked Claymore. He can actually use this, but it's way worse than what he has. Okay, so I think we're good with the Merchant. Let's deal with quests now. Um, if we look at our journal, we do have the Coin Guard Merchant side quest. We just talked to the Coin Guard, so let's do that. I did some upgrading in the last um, episode, and I upgraded my armor. 
the armor I the armor I took for my follower. I upgraded it, so now it's kind of like my own. Uh, let's go back this way. Is there a cut through? Looks like there is. I don't expect much from this quest. Can't cut through there. Damn it. I have to go all the way around. <clears throat> it's all dark out. I like how they have the, the light and dark. Hold on, I can't, I can't see what I'm doing, though. That's the problem. So it looks like I can go across here if I had I need a bit of level 1 vigor, which I don't have. Essentially, so far, I've seen that the vigor not having some doesn't... Someone attacking me? What's going on here? Oh, here we go. Get out of here. Oh, you want to play? Wrecked. I love when they attack me. It's free loot. Give me your gold. I don't know who these morons are, but... They're bandits. It's freaking amateur hour up in here. They're like, look at this nicely dressed individual walking through town. Let's try to jump him. Oh my god, he's really good with a sword. We're, don't, we're all dead. <laughs> okay, let's get something to drink here. Uh, okay, that's not where I wanted to go. We're going to go talk to the Queen Guard. Do I have to walk all the way around? Yeah, here we go. We're good. We're good. I'm still getting the lay of the land. I'm not too familiar with the town just yet. Let's talk to this guy. Well, I'll be damned. It's Captain Kurt. <laughs> Manfred. Still a quartermaster. Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? Give me your helmet. <clears throat> We've come to find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the commander's cargo, yes. I was told that would come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They are well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find. Great. They need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? Apparently not. No. Thank Teach you. your men to read. How about that? <laughs> That might be too much to ask. What we can do, though, is... Well, we can kill them all, or we can just rock out the sailor's coat. How are we, to know in which <clears throat> we look I'm at the map. We're going to have to take a look at all of them. Good thing we already looted them all. Looks like two. Okay. It was not that hard. I mean, I could go in there and just kill all the knots. I personally hate the knots. They're good, they're good loot and experience so far, but I fear that by killing them all, eventually they'll become, they'll come to hate me so much that I won't be able to deal anything with them. Ooh. I break for loot. This should not take too long, the side quest here. See, it says, impossible to enter. Yeah, okay. I'm looking for a place to jump over. Here we go. 
I have the Sailor costume on, so it's as good as a Metal Gear Solid cardboard box. The problem is it's incredibly dark in here. That's a good, it's marked. No, these aren't the right crates. Wonderful. These aren't the droids you're looking for. No, these aren't the right crates. No, these aren't the right crates. It must be in the other warehouse. Hmm. Told you we'll handle this really quickly. But I break for loot. Huh, I ran into that resuscitation powder. I thought it was funny. Um, you know, you 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 fall out. The crates we've been looking for. It appears that one of them has been broken. Wonderful. Full of weapons. That doesn't seem right. It is our clients that supply us weapons on Tier Three. You didn't know what was in the crates? No. I don't concern myself with the commander's business. I should take a look into this. I have some friends here that must know what this is all about. Let me know what you discover. Now, let's mark these crates and get going. Is that all of them? I was going to comment on the resuscitation powder. It's like, hey, sprinkle some crack on the boys. We you know when a guy falls over. <laughs> no, these aren't the right crates. So it looks like just those few couple, that's it. Let's see if I can get out through here. Can I jump over? No, it looks like you need Vigor to jump over that. If I remember correctly, it's probably like Vigor 2. So this is this is one of those instances where by having Vigor you can save yourself a little bit of time. Shortcuts and stuff, but who cares? Looks like I can re-hit re them. I guess I have to mark them. There we go. And form the form the coin guard. That's right. See these. If I take this chess piece off, all these guys are just going to attack me because they're crazy like that. Just because someone's dressed differently, you would immediately attack them, especially when they're royalty. That's nuts. These, they're damn. They're gutter snipes. Okay. Now we can change out. <clears throat> back to hopefully some more bandits attack us that would be wonderful I love getting attacked by bandits Excellency, we have found a way into the storehouse and we have marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help. And I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. Count on me. <clears throat> These guards are incompetent, and they're also thieves, too, huh? No, thank you. Okay. So... 
I'm not going to say this is a pointless quest, because the more quests, the better, but... What do we got? Three merchants here? Wonderful. I thought this was just a, hey, let's just talk to the coin guard, but we got more going on here. Blacksmith. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you again at the forge. What can I do for you? Um... I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? No, not at all. I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business. And my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Renault. Hmm. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not gonna bring him back. You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I am not gonna say one more word about this case. The, the law of silence is at work. Nobody saw anything, Blades, nobody knows armor, anything. Locks. Custom pieces, guys scared into silence. Interesting. There should be another merchant here. This guy here. Hello, sir. Good. Sire, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tierfredi. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, you've come to the right place. Thank you. But I'm not here for that. I'm conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I'm the legate of the congregation. If guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh. I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't, really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game. You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I get it. <clears throat> You'll find all you need in our... Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? I'm conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the Guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really? I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very 
Convince a merchant to help you, huh? How do I convince Welcome. this guy? It's such a pleasure to have you seen anything to your I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renho. You don't understand. Let's try to convince him, though. My charisma's not... I have the cape on, but it's only charisma one. Are you not tired of giving them your share of the profits? And do you not want to avenge your partner? Poor Reno. Ooh, I succeeded. 50-50. That's all right. We need to act. I will do what you ask of me. <clears throat> but for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? <laughs> I have every intention of stripping them of all their equipment, fear not. In two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come back in two days. Okay. So, for right now, we need to go talk to the governor for a variety of reasons, the main storyline. Hopefully we don't miss... Oh, let's, let's save real quick, just in case we forget about this stupid quest here while we're doing something else. So you see this this area right here, when I was walking up to this step for the first time is when I got a cutscene in the last episode for Siora, just so you guys know that's where you get her. If you don't come up to this step, maybe you don't kick off that cutscene or not. And this is my first time going in here. This is apparently where my cousin is. Very nicely appointed place, marble floors, cleaners. I'm going to map here. Lots of different points. Hello, guard. Let's take the opportunity to take a look around the place. Potentially lift, or I mean, reappropriate anything that may be, we may be able to. Looks like some of these rooms are all connected here. Place is a bit of a mess. Diplomatic Affairs Advisor, who are you? Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How <clears throat> I serve you. What exactly is your role here? I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters. And I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. Would you like anything else? That will be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. <laughs> Your role sounds like a scarily powerful role. I will leave you alone and try not to piss you off. <laughs> Dare you tax me into oblivion. <laughs> okay, let's continue to... We'll check out this next room. And there's an upstairs and a downstairs. Obviously, we want to talk to the main quest line last, if we can. We always try to put things off. Looks like there's nothing to reappropriate in this room. Could be something here. Looks like we got some... Just leave the keys laying around? How dare they? It's okay. We'll make, we'll make sure we find those a good home. I like the wallpaper in here. This is very nice. <laughs> it's a little bit dark, though. Okay, so I think by going up these stairs... We could... The, the cousin's probably up here, but we can just... Yeah, this is most certainly his room. There you are, dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Maal, 
the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Telemen to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Mm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with um, the queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. <laughs> Why did you have to say that last part? Damn you. <laughs> Now you most certainly doomed me. Locked. Your locking picking skill is not high enough. Are you joking? It's the second time. I need to get three lock picking skill immediately. This is the second time that's happened. Ah, jeez. What's up here? There better be something. Hopefully chests with only lock picking two skill required. It's like a bedroom, maybe? Even this upstairs is, these are quite large. This is like a catacombs of a house. Here we go. Anything in here? Looks like a, like a mage or somebody would, would house in here. Looking for loot. Look, come out loot. There's guards in every room. Not Oh, this is the bedroom, it looks like. What do we got up here? There's his office key. Boom. So, I don't need the sticking lockpicking skill now. Level 2. Uh, achievement unlocked, Cat Burglar. Excellent. This looks like it goes down somewhere. Hello. Pay no attention to me. Not much of a cat burglar if I don't steal anything. This looks like it went down to the first floor. How did these people get here? There's no doors. I must have come from down here. Here we go, finally found something. Thank you. This is the door out to the main hall, I, I believe, looks like. Well, you're gonna wait. I'm not talking to you. I don't like listening to these random people. Especially when I'm busy looting. Ooh, there's like a prison down here. Nice, nice. This place is like a catacomb, man. What kind of craziness you got going down here. It's all dark down here. Just pulling my sword out as a torch. Nothing. 
God, this is annoying. I think there was only like one piece of loot, nothing in there. At least I know it's been clean swept. I just need to check uh, my cousin's office. So this is back into this. Was I in this room before? No, this is the bottom floor, so I most certainly have not been in here. This is someone's room. Lives in the all the way down in the basement. This is like a sex dungeon. <laughs> uh, what's that nicely appointed bed doing all the way down here? Okay, we're gonna head back up now. I do not have a moment. There's like nobles and stuff, like talking. Let's see, let's go in here. Use key. Loot, loot, loot. That was very uneventful. How unfortunate. Cousin, what can I do for you? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. I don't care about his parents. Okay, I guess we'll talk to the moron in the lobby. Oh, this is the teacher. Coming. I know that you're very busy. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. Your uncle has asked me to draw a map. The paths setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, if you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. Looks like I'm making plans to go out into the wilderness. I need XP. Do you remember that gigantic <clears throat> creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island. And your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult. But this is the price of wisdom. Decided. What did you even come for? Isn't this your job? Man, he just pawned his job off on me. What is that guy doing? Nothing. <laughs> okay. So, let's take a look at our, assess our options here. We have the meeting the two governors quest we just got from our cousin. We have the reach the village, which is, you know, we're going to go quote unquote parlay with the uh, the natives and apparently since it's called the battle of the red spears that's most most likely a fight and then we have the side quest we got the man with the silver coin which was come back in two days which is we have one hour and 19 minutes left here and then we have the two exploration quests and finding the professor's notes so looks like we've handled everything in the town um I do think we have some miscellaneous things we can we can sell. Um, this quartermaster guy's got a pretty good helmet that I would like to take from him. I think you see this it says leather from Egon to the customer customs officer. 
It would be a shame if we had to punish you. You have such lovely children. That could have to do with the guard stuff. This is just the, you know, bile. Wow, that's lovely. Unknown creature. That was a thing we fought. Nadeg, the guardians of Tear for D. Okay. What was I going to look at? Oh, our bag. We have some junk to sell. But the good news is it doesn't weigh anything, so we don't need to worry too much about it. We need a bunch of keys. We'll just hold on to those. So it looks like not everything weighs something. But these potions do, and we have an awful lot of them. So, is there a way we can check our weight? Yeah, 137 out of 200. Maybe we will sell some. Direct access to the map of the region, really. How do we... Oh, okay. Yeah, travel... Reach the village, meet the Bridge Alliance Governor. So it looks like you can't meet them here in town. So we have two options. We have travel this way, travel this way, or three, three. Let's let's head let's head to the side first. We'll, we'll hit a little scum save up real quick. Okay, good stop. Good stopping point. Can you help me? Oh, these are some... Is this additional quests? What do you need? Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me? My chief sent me to trade some items with your village, but there are these Bod Irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod Irony. The Ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Oh, come on. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. <laughs> he may be a native, but he couldn't be this stupid. Maybe art always be sturdy under your footsteps. Okay, now intended Manfred. That's the coin guard guy. Well, look, I didn't even get out of the town. That's interesting. Excellency, what can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is. My men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No. Thank you. Is that guy? That's probably the guy in my cousin's house, right? The guy who taxes can tax people into oblivion. It's the scary individual. Sure enough. See, it's good to wander all around. Yeah. Now you know, I mean, the map showed you, but it's, you know, you immediately know without looking. I just looked at the map to confirm that, yep, that was the guy. Can run there at all speed. I want to say he was this way. Yep. Mr. 
Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. So I can do charisma. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed, I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving... Damn, Charisma's OP, man. Keep that in mind for those that people are playing this. Very well. In that case... Here's the patent that will allow your protege... <laughs> a long time. It took like a second. <laughs> he pulled it out of his back pocket. This copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Yep, that's how you handle that. Else? Nope. That will be all. Goodbye, that. Your Excellency. Damn charisma. Boom, for the win. Yeah, so it's good that the hat that you... The, the DLC gives you, this DLC hat. Now that's the intuition. Where's the charisma coming in? Oh, it's the cape. So make sure you buy a cape as soon as possible. Don't ever, don't ever talk to these people without a cape on. I mean, it, it does provide some small amount of defense, but not much. The real kicker is this cape just greases the greases the gears of commerce here. It's crazy. You're lucky, Mr. Native, that I care. I care about these natives. I hate to see them get trampled by all these cruel people. You came back. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they Wonderful. also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin. But I'll try to find out. Unbelievable. So... Literally, I just greased the wheels of commerce and got this guy a paint in like 60 seconds. And our freaking guards are ninjas. They just teleported. They're like, yep, yoink. And... Hello, your excellent. <clears throat> what can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry. Your Excellency, especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry. Again, these, these guards are worthless. The necessary license for your protege and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. No, the beratement of your incompetence is not a selection, unfortunately. So, I didn't fully look through the guards' stuff, did I? Oh, look at them. Look at this loot just sitting out here. That's unfortunate. Oh, 
this is a pretty big place. Which is, ooh, this is cool. This training area. 11th Hello, Company Excellency. Commander. Excellency, can I do something for you? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Lieutenant, but it says Lieutenant in the subtitles. <laughs> Just keep working out while I rob you. Pay no attention. <laughs> Warren Guard double times three. Excellent. It's possible that that may be like a costume later. But they will be sold, just like anything else. Oh, looks like there's an upstairs as well. I have no problem reappro once it's open, it just says a no, like go away, open no. Doesn't even give you the option to pick the lock or anything. Nothing to see here, gentlemen. You guys all just standing around in here? That's really suspicious as hell. Let me just check this crate over here. Level two lock picking. Okay. I like how you can ooh. You can just pick the locks right in plain sight and they just don't care. Just came to get my things, I mean your things. I wonder if that hat is any good. Oh, it's, it's, it gives you some loot chance, drops your intuition a little bit. Not bad, not bad. Looks good on him. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the intuition. Once I get out of town, I don't know how useful the intuition will be for just random looting. And I may end up switching around um, the equipments a little bit. But while I'm in town right now, the intuition's good for these loot spawn points. This is a different room. Pay no attention to me. I'm just coming through for an inspection. That's what I'm doing. Just inspecting the area. Oh, let's go check that other room and then we can go this way. Oh, this goes outside. It's like a catwalk to get out of the building, it looks like. Huh. Well, I've succeeded in robbing as much as possible to the point where I can no longer run. Excellent. Mission accomplished. It's like I can talk to someone in charge of the prison. It's over here. No. Oh, he's on the lower floor. I'm so used to sprinting. I just way too much. If I check this side room, I don't know if I did. Did I check your room, gentlemen? I'm just checking for roaches. Oh, I checked your room already. Carry on. This is the door. For some reason, I cannot. How come I can't open that door? That's so suspicious. Maybe if I take the catwalk outside, maybe I can get in there, but...
Okay, looks like this guy is... Is he in here? Nope, he's he's down downstairs one more level. Let's go down. I'm not seeing any loot. There is a door here. What's, what's happening in here, guys? I can imagine. This could be where they live, actually. But... This looks like a damn bordello. Coin Arena, huh? New Serene Fight Organizer. Good day. Interested in making a little wager? <laughs> Unless you'd rather fight. What type of fighting goes on here? Ah, there's a bit of everything. Animals, fighters, and even some island beasts go at each other in the pit. If you're tempted, you can even participate. The master of the arena will be glad to enroll you. On what are people betting? On the arena fights, of course. Fortunes are made and unmade here. A combat is so much more exciting when spiced with a wager. Okay. I'll be going now. Later then. Didn't give me the option to bet on anything. Maybe if I go inside. Ooh, it's actually a new zone. Look at this craziness. Crafting table. There's a camp area. And this must be the fight arena. Is there any merchants in here? There isn't. Though I am tempted to get into this fighting thing, um, I need to, like, unencumber the hell out of myself. Because I cannot run right now, so it would be very dangerous to go into a fight. We will most certainly return to that location. So this brought me back up to the main area. Oh, this is the bar area. So look at that. So this, since I came from here. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers. Oh. Paid an entry fee. <laughs> I literally <laughs> just walked out there. Can't let you in. Worthless tool, I'm not paying you. Very well. Goodbye, soldier. So this this passage is connected to the the soldier barracks where they're having arena fights. And he watches me come out, and I, that is quite something right there. I didn't even finish robbing them or get, get to talk to the prison. Actually, I wonder, can I sell things to the blacksmith? I think I can. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you. Sell, yep. Okay, let's start it off. Actually, let me look at my second secondary weapon. Not enough agility. Oh, it's a great place. We're gonna sell stuff. These Warren Guard doublets aren't half bad, though. They just have no additional stats on them. But, as you can see, they're like open slates to be able to craft things. I think we should probably hold on to one of them. I 
I feel like, can I store things uh, in my house? I might be able to do that. These, I think, don't weigh anything. Yeah, I definitely need to offload some of this equips. Starting to stack up some gear. I'm up to 572. Got this regulation saber. It's not bad. It's a shame that it it's, requires agility too to use these weapons here. This one's agility one. I can, totally can use this one. And it's actually not bad. So it increases my stun and armor damage. It reduces the elemental damage, but it's still a very, very good sword. This one. One off. Oh, I actually don't want to hit that. Let's see. It's not a bad looking. It's got that weird tip on it. Look at that crazy thing. Red Sun Soldier Doublet. Okay, looks like nothing... Nothing worth anything. Is there a crafting... Oh, there's a crafting table in my house. That's right. Um... We need to go, now that we've offloaded some some gear, let's go back into the barracks and deal with this. Let's take a look at the... Um, let's see what our time looking like. So, it's been a little bit over an hour. We're actually going to save and we'll call it here and we'll deal with this stuff in the next episode. Join me in... It'll be episode 5 coming up. So join me, uh, and we can you can continue with me on my adventures. Uh, thanks for thanks for enjoying the video. Hopefully you liked it. Take care. Bye.